Welcome back to our special Fun and Games edition of CNN.com. Megalomaniacs rejoice. The long-awaited game Black and White is finally available. And oh lord, that's you by the way, when you play this game. Is it ever popular? Its unprecedented use of artificial intelligence and its groundbreaking graphics have made it the number one selling PC game on the market. Mark Salzman has more. The goal of black and white is to rule over a kingdom aptly named Eden as either a good or evil god. And to help carry out the glory or wrath of such a divine being, players must raise one of a dozen unique creatures. My creature's a tiger. Uh, I chose a tiger because it's of its aggressive nature. I chose to be evil through the game and I'm training my, my creature slowly to be evil. I have one called Pookie and one called Psycho. It, Pookie's my good character and then Psycho when I'm feeling kind of mean and nasty. Someone help us! Help us! We child. call to the Please. heavens! One of your tasks in the game, for example, is to help a panicking mother who wants you to rescue her drowning kids. It's entirely up to you. You can save them or maybe throw mom into the ocean with them. There's several, several quests of gathering rocks for villagers, finding some lost sheep, helping some villagers build a boat to get off the island, those types of things. And Black and White also features a very interesting online component as well. For one, players can swap their creatures over the web with others online. Also, you can battle your creatures and dress them up with unique symbols like tattoos. Over time, creatures will grow to be larger than life. They can learn all kinds of magic and miracles and will eventually come across other creatures in a battle for supremacy. The game's artificial intelligence allows the creatures to learn with proper discipline. When it kicks a villager or eats a villager, you want to pet it. You pet it and to show that that's what it's supposed to do. And if you find it being kind, if you slap it around a little bit, it learns not to be kind anymore. But be forewarned, your creature may have a mind of its own. Right now it's, it's kicking villagers around the village, which is pretty funny. Uh, the funniest thing is I was fighting with another creature and all of a sudden they just started dancing. They started break dancing out of nowhere. You can also import real weather conditions, so if it's snowing outside, it's snowing in your game. Uh, the graphics themselves I think are outstanding. It's a fantastic graphics engine. Uh, the game engine, although with some high system requirements, is really phenomenal. This leads us to some of the problems with the game. For one, it could be a little tricky to control. Plus, it has a number of bugs that can cause the game to crash. But it seems players are willing to overlook these shortcomings for the chance to play God. How many hours have these folks played? Hundreds. I'm, my, wife, my wife is a black and white widow. <laughs> <laughs> Way more than I care to admit. <laughs> a lot. The final verdict? Well, it's revolutionary. The, the amount of work that's gone into the creature AI is astounding to me. And I've been playing games for a long time. I've never seen anything on this level. This game promises to be one of the best games ever, ever written for the personal computer. Mark will be back later in the show with a look at the successor to those ubiquitous.